Hey everyone, this is Karen Waxman, founder of Retail MBA. And today I want to talk about what to do when you get some pretty not so wonderful feedback of your product from a buyer or from a sales guru or some guru in general in the retail industry space basically what to do about that. And the reason I decided to create this particular training segment is because I've taught tens of thousands of product uh, companies across the globe on how to get their products in the stores. I've personally sold millions of units of products to the world's largest retailers. And I've been selling to retailers for close to two decades now. So I kind of have a feel for the industry pretty well. And so I wanted to talk about this because I had a client come to me recently who got ripped apart by a buyer and he was so startled by it that he came to me afterwards basically just feeling like completely deflated and um, it upset me so much that I decided to create this video because I still can't believe this stuff happens but it does and so I really wanted to create this video for all of you in case this is happening to you to support you as you're going through your process of getting products in the stores. Now please note most buyers and retailers and so forth are cool, they're nice people. But every once in a while, there's just going to be someone who's going to say some awful things. Um, and so that's what we're going to be addressing, those types of situations. So first of all, this particular client showed me the email, the, the response about the feedback for his product. And it was awful. It was almost like six paragraphs long, single space, tearing him apart about everything. His pricing was off how everybody can knock him off. I mean, he went off. And at the end of the email, it, it really came down to basically don't quit what you're doing currently and don't bother with retail. I mean, this guy was like, destroyed him, you know, completely said, go walk away, go do something else. And so, I'm, and, and so I hear that and that just makes me so upset because you know what? One buyer's perspective does not mean that this person should quit Ever. Okay, first of all, a person who writes a six paragraph single line spaced anything, it's got way too much time on his hands because most buyers are so busy, they don't have time to remu on such a level. Okay, so whoever that is has a lot of time and is not that happy in his life. Okay, and so second of all, anyone who, who wants to be such a dream killer isn't anyone I would listen to to begin with. Okay. It's hard enough to start a business and to spend all your money and to deal with the naysayers and your family and your friends who are watching you build products while you're supposed to be doing something else or whatever dream you're having and so forth. It's hard enough to do that. Then you build it out. Then you start selling it online or whatever it is that you're doing. And then this one comes in and basically knocks you on your side. And I'm here to tell you that you deserve everything that you want and people like that are just people who are just not that important to you in your life. Because I've seen it time and time again, the worst products in the world get their products in the stores and some of the best products in the world don't get products in the stores. It's not because necessarily of the product itself, although of course it helps, there is more to it that. It's the thought and the feelings and the beliefs that you have about your product and your belief in yourself that you're willing to not stop until you get a yes from somebody. That is the key to success with retail chains because I can educate you and give you all the specifics on how to get products in the stores. But if you're freaked out the entire time and listening to all sorts of people and running away every time someone says something bad to you, not saying that this client did that, you know, that basically stops you at every step of the way. But if you know that you are going to go for it and you are going to learn and you're going to educate yourself and you're going to create the best strategy possible and you're going to go for it. And some people are going to love you and some people are not going to love you and you're just not going to quit. You're going to quit and uh, continue to edit whatever it is that you're doing until you get a yes. That is the person who succeeds every single time. I deal with sales gurus all the time. I'm on the speaking circuit with the top people in the industry. I know these people really well. I've heard timeless stories of them telling people, you are never going to get your products in the stores. And I've heard many times that those people still got their products in the stores, even though that particular guru said that that wasn't going to happen. So I just want you to know that it's very common that you're going to come across people along your path who are not going to take care of you and your dream and so forth, but it's not their responsibility. It's yours. So next time you hear a horrible story from a buyer or someone who's saying something bad about you, take it with a grain of salt. Now, if many buyers, are saying that your pricing is way off. 
then you need to stop and take a look at that and see what you can do to tweak and edit until you make it align for them to be able to buy. There's obviously certain things that a buyer needs, but anyone who's going to that extent to harm you, your business, your brand, and everything should not even be paid attention to. And most of the time, most products can be adjusted or tweaked to get into stores. Again, I've seen everything across the board get into stores. And sometimes it's even the worst product in the world with best packaging, you've seen that. Uh, there's so many variables as to why a buyer buys a product. Could be the right moment and so forth. I bet the person who got reamed that day is gonna get that product in stores and he doesn't quit and he sticks to it and he goes for it. And, um, and I hope that for all of you. Just so you know, when I started my business, people told me it was the worst idea ever that nobody would buy training and information, that you know, all people wanted was me to sell for them and I shouldn't be selling my secrets and so forth. And you know, if I would have listened to them, I wouldn't have helped so many people across the globe for so many years and I love what I do and I'm not quitting and I'm doing and creating this video for you now. And so all the naysayers, you know, I'd, I'd laugh at them now. Um, it's been very, very successful for me and I, and I, uh, and I honor you uh, for doing what you're doing and succeeding the way that you're doing wherever you are in your business. So anyways, just wanted to share that with you, get you to think about the fact that even if the top people in the world and in the industry say something yucky about your product, just keep going, ignore them. Um, I personally would never do that to a person because again, I know the industry really, really well and you're just going to have to trust me on that one. Anyways, uh, Karen Waxman Retail MBA. If you want to learn how to get your products in the stores, if you have friends and family who want to learn more, please take a look at my website, retailmba.com. I have training systems, I have live events, all sorts of things, automation tools, all related to how to generate revenue with a physical product. And I'd love to support you. Otherwise, I wish you the best and be on the lookout for additional videos that I create. And I'd love to hear your feedback if you like this video. Thanks.